Experimental psychology is the branch of psychology that employs scientific methods to research the mind and behavior. It uses controlled experiments to explore how people think, feel, and act. By manipulating variables and observing outcomes, experimental psychologists aim to establish cause and effect relationships in human behavior. The origins of experimental psychology can be traced back to Wilhelm Wundt, often referred to as the father of experimental psychology. In 1879, Wundt established the first psychology laboratory at the University of Leipzig in Germany. This marked the formal beginning of psychology as a distinct scientific discipline. His work laid the foundation for future research and methodologies in psychology. Here are two examples of experimental psychology. The first example involves memory research. A researcher might study how different types of distractions affect short-term memory. Participants could be asked to memorize a list of words while being exposed to various distractions, such as noise or visual stimuli. The researcher would then measure how many words participants can recall in each condition, providing insights into how distractions impact memory. The second example involves studying learning processes. A psychologist might explore the effects of reinforcement on behavior. In an experiment, participants could be asked to complete a task with varying levels of rewards for correct answers. By analyzing how different reward systems influence task performance, the researcher can understand how reinforcement shapes learning and behavior. Let's look at three benefits of experimental psychology. Firstly, it allows for precise control over variables. By isolating specific factors, researchers can determine their direct impact on behavior, leading to more accurate and reliable findings. Secondly, experimental psychology can establish causal relationships. Unlike correlational studies, Experiments can demonstrate that changes in one variable directly cause changes in another, providing stronger evidence for theories. Lastly, experimental methods can be replicated. The structured nature of experiments allows other researchers to repeat studies, verify results, and build upon previous findings, contributing to the advancement of psychological science. Now let's explore three criticisms of experimental psychology. Firstly, it often lacks ecological validity. Experiments conducted in controlled settings may not accurately reflect real-world situations, limiting the generalizability of findings to everyday life. Secondly, ethical concerns can arise. Some experiments may involve deception or manipulation of participants, raising questions about the ethical treatment of subjects. Ensuring informed consent and minimizing harm is crucial in psychological research. Thirdly, experimental psychology can be reductionist, by focusing on specific variables in isolation, it may oversimplify complex human behaviors and overlook broader social and cultural influences. But experimental psychology isn't the only type of psychology, which is why you need to watch this video on every type of psychology. I'll see you there.